We're in the chapter three of the book of Lamentations, mo most likely written by Jeremiah. And Jeremiah is lamenting. He's looking back. He, he, he's remembering the good times and the bad times of Israel, of Judah, of how they rebelled against God, how they went against his heart, went against his law, went against all the things that God had planned for them and how God dealt with them, how God poured out his wrath upon them, really, in a way that, that would, well, correct them and instruct them and bring them back. So Jeremiah is talking about the good and the bad and how that when we stray and when we walk away and when we do those things that we know are totally opposed to what God has called us to be and do, that God will discipline. God will come after us, but it's for our own good. And so in Lamentations chapter three, Jeremiah is seeing the good side and the bad side. And what he's saying in this chapter is, don't blame God for him bringing correction into your life when you've done everything you weren't supposed to do, when you've rebelled, when you've strayed, when you've turned your back on him, a loving God, a loving father is going to discipline. He's going to come after you. And so he's looking back and forth at the good and the bad. And listen to what he says after he describes all the wrath and difficulty that God puts Israel through. Then he goes on to say this in verse 22, through the Lord's mercy, we are not consumed because that's how they felt, like they had been just consumed by the Lord. Because his compassions fail not, they're new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in him. So after all the difficulties, after all the discipline, he still says, you know what? The Lord's mercies are still with us and we're not completely consumed. God could have wiped them out, but what God did was he straightened them out. And I think when we drift, when we step away, when we find ourselves turning our back or not listening to what God's called us to listen to, sometimes he allows us to go through a time of difficulty and discipline, but he doesn't consume us. His mercy is still there for us, because like a good father, he wants to draw us back into that which is helpful and that which is righteous in his eyes.